This is Dean Bark with the RCBL. I'm here with the Grotto's Cardinals after a 17 to 11 win over the Montezuma Braves. Coach, this was one of the more oddball games of the year where you blew a four run lead and then you ended up going up by eight at one point. What? And then we blew that lead too. Yeah. What is your takeaway from this game? Uh, actually, the, the takeaway is we, we answered what I, we just talked about out there. Every time they scored, we answered, uh, which is really good for us to um, to be able to do that offensively, keep swinging the bats when things go wrong. We, you know, we, we didn't make a play. They got a, they got a couple big hits. Um, we just bounced back and, and kept swinging the bats. And every time they scored a couple runs, we were able to, to answer back. So that's a, that's a big takeaway. Austin Nicely, you had a pretty successful career in the minor leagues that you recently decided to call the close on. Tonight you were able to come out for, with your first game in a while with these Cardinals and hit a three-run bomb. Uh, what was the key? How was this experience for you? I'm uh, sure it's, it's been a crazy week. Yeah, it's always fun uh, getting to play with these guys, uh, two cousins, getting to play for my dad. It's always a good time. Uh, and, you know, it's better when you do uh, have a little success and, and find a pitch that you can hit and hit it pretty good. What's it been like going from the minor leagues to this? Uh, it's, and what went behind the, the decision? Uh, I mean, I've done it long enough, I think. Um, and then, uh, really, I mean, getting a taste of the county league in COVID year and then, and then another year uh, when I got released, uh, the county league's always been, like, one of the best places to have fun, uh, a lot of good baseball. So uh, it's just like uh, riding a bike, but uh, only now with good friends and buddies. Tucker Garrison, wasn't the best performance that you've ever had, but nonetheless, you still were able to get seven strikeouts and get the win for your team. Yep. How were you able to, because they started to stage a comeback there, how were you able to hold off this uh, hard-hitting Braves team? Throw strikes, let the team behind you play. I mean, we didn't have the best night all around. We hit the ball, so that helped a lot. Just I had to go out there and throw strikes and let the team behind me do it and let our hitters hit. Dylan nicely. Three for five, three RBIs tonight. It was a big night, for, and you called a pretty good game behind the plate. Granted, you gave up 11. We'll try, we'll try to do better than give up 11. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Uh, as long as we keep scoring 17, 11 is okay. <laughs> yeah, so what was the key for – what do you think was the key for this team to come in here and have probably one of the best offensive nights of the season? Yeah, I think just we've been, you know, I think RMO is we want to try to hit it. They throw stuff over the plate. We want to put some runs up. Usually in this league, you score 17, you got a chance to win. So if we can stay right there, I think we'll be okay. So, Coach Nicely, um, towards the end of the first half, it's kind of seemed like this team – you were in the conversation early, and then you kind of fizzled out there. This second half, I mean, you've bolstered your lineup to the point where you guys are now in fourth place. And tonight, every single guy in the starting lineup had had at least one base hit. What do you think's been the key to the turnaround? Um, I, I think we just we've got more consistent at the plate early um, early part of the year. Between you know, we, we had to use a lot of different lineups. We were trying to get a lot of guys. Uh, and we're able to get a lot of guys uh, different uh, some reps and different positions and playing time to try to figure out kind of what was our best lineup um, and where people could hit in the lineup and where people could play. We really, uh, you know, we never had a, the same nine guys all the time, sometimes by design, sometimes by, um, you know, guys were out of town and, and that sort of thing. And, um, and it was hard to get consistent. Um, but, uh, but the last uh, several games, We've been swinging it, um, swinging it better and, and more consistently through the order, and able to get some two-out hits. Um, and we didn't get some of those early in the year, and we've been able to get some of those, so that's been good. So to, moving on to tomorrow's game, it'll be a makeup of last week's rainout um, against the Broadway Bruins, who handed Elton a pretty solid whooping tonight. Uh, that's always a powerful offensive team. What's going to be the key tomorrow to keeping the energy and um, holding off the five, the fifth seed? Yeah, we need to uh, we need to swing the bats. Uh, you know, you don't expect to score 17 runs again, but we, we need to swing the bats well, like we did, and uh, we need to clean some things up defensively. Um, Tucker pitched fine, so if we can get you know if all of our pitchers can throw like that, we just play steady defense um, and, and and swing it uh, consistently like we did tonight. Uh, hopefully, we'll be okay. So 
So, so that's what we've got from the Grotto's Cardinals. We'll see you next time. I don't know how to blow a bubble to save my storm life. <laughs> Guys.